with a major deal overnight. J.P. Morgan Chase buying embattled First Republic Bank, which was near collapse. Deal reached just hours ago in time for the markets to open after a weekend-long scramble to find a buyer. First Republic Bank sold to J.P. Morgan Chase overnight in a bid to avert a banking crisis in this country. It's the second largest U.S. bank collapse ever following Washington Mutual back in 2008 during the financial crisis. This Jerome Powell hate America so much. <laughs> okay, Jerome Powell, that's, that's my question. Is why, like, he must hate America so much because he has run the entire economy into the ground in a way that will be obvious to everybody. Uh, you know, fundamentally, um, what happened, and the reason I'm saying that is pointing out that the building is burning, pointing out that the pilot has crashed the plane, that the captain has crashed the ship, and that you might want to get to the parachutes or get to the lifeboats, that is not the same thing as being the pilot, right? Jerome Powell is the pilot. The pilot has crashed the plane. Going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event. And now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. We all know this channel is Shadow Band. Now, guys, in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events. And then also, I give you the New Road Order cryptos. But, of course, you have to do your own research. But, guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So, you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, we have Bitcoin and cryptos moving back. The stock market is flat. And guys, we know we have Jerome in the house this week. And we know when he's in the house, they want the markets to look good. And Jerome Powell speaks May 3rd to let us know whether they're going to raise rates or not. Most likely, they're going to raise rates. But guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which are slightly up, and we have the dollar, which is slightly up. We see in crypto, volume has picked up. And then, of course, guys, we have Tether, USDC, and then we have the Fed. Friday, the repo was at $2.3 trillion, And then we know the central banks are raising rates and running off the balance sheet. So therefore, they can destroy this legacy market 
so the fourth industrial revolution can rise. Whether robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And like I stated, Jerome Powell is in the house May 3rd, and we know he's going to say he's going to be data dependent. And guys, the second part of the year, we're going to think we're on a roller coaster ride. It's definitely going to be a movie. We see the plan unfolding right in front of our eyes. And the video I did yesterday with the FDIC guys is so important because now we have the first republic in the hands of J.P. Morgan. And guys, don't forget on March 16th of this year, First Republic received a $30 billion bailout from J.P. Morgan, City, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. So guys, remember, this is all part of the FDIC plan 10 years ago for the big banks to swallow up the regional banks. The reason why, guys, because this current model doesn't work in the fourth industrial revolution. Real-time settlement. And do you understand how much liquidity you need for real-time settlement? And then on top of it, it cuts out the fees that the banks make a living off of. So guys, you're witnessing a real-life monopoly game. Big bank takes little bank. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now guys, we have Grayscale sent about $24.8 billion. And getting over into a little crypto news, we have Meta SEC filing reveals debt security offering plan. May offer and sell debt securities occasionally. And guys, what are they doing? They're getting ready for the downturn, but then also being able to reinvest in the fourth industrial revolution. Now, guys, we have Nigeria SEC plan to allow asset-backed tokens, but not crypto. And guys, we know that CBDCs and stable coins. But guys, we know that's not going to work because protocols like Ethereum, the utility is the asset. And then lastly, guys, we have CZ warns Justin Sun on $56 million transfer to Binance for a SUI token. And guys, how does CZ know what Justin Sun is about to do? Because guys, we've seen it plenty of times. The whale comes in and buy up all the tokens. But then we've also seen Binance do the same exact thing on their projects. All the rug pulls that's been done. But guys, doing every bear market is about building. And we've been through this several times. During the bear market, you're going to see builders. And then the bull run, you're going to all of a sudden see the major projects move up to the top. We've seen this happen plenty of times where we've seen top projects move down to the bottom or even disappear. And we see new projects move up. We have those examples of Solano. Avalanche, Polygon, to name a few. And in this next bull run, this is going to be the completion. So you definitely have to do your research. And guys, what do I tell you when you're doing research? Follow the money. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new road order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books. It's crypto teacher and the new road order book plus the three kids books is time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, receive the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. 
There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID 33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.